Hello, and welcome to Physics 1, Experiment 6, Conservation of Energy and Momentum. For this experiment, we will be studying the conservation of mechanical energy by observing the motion of an object on an inclined plane, as well as the conservation of momentum by observing objects undergoing collisions. Here is what you will need for the experiment. We will be using the LXI data logger, a motion sensor, two pass cars, two 250 gram masses, a meter stick, as well as a meter long track. We will want to start the experiment by acquiring the mass of both of the pass cars and recording this in our data sheet. With the masses recorded, we are now ready to set up for procedure A. For procedure A, we will need to mount our track to the rod attached to the table. To do this, we will loosen up the square nut and thread it through the gap of our track and then tighten it securely. Now we are ready to start procedure A. We will begin by measuring the height from the table to the top of our track at both the 80 and 30 centimeter mark. Once we have these heights recorded, we will then set up the LXI to start taking data. Please refer to the LXI video step-by-step -step instructions. With everything set up, we will now position our red pass car at the top of the track, and then press start on the LXI data logger, and then release our car. We'll then press stop and auto scale so that we can get good data and collect two points on the upward slope calculate acceleration. The remainder of procedure A involves varying the angle of inclination of our track, recording the relevant heights, and obtaining the velocities to calculate accelerations. Once we have all the necessary data, we will remove our track from the rod to continue with procedure B. Procedure B involves inelastic collisions. To begin, we will position the red pass car towards the middle of the track with the Velcro side facing the motion sensor. We 
You will then position the blue pass car toward the motion sensor with the velcro side facing the red pass car. With everything set up, we will press start on the LXI and then gently slide our blue pass car into the red and press stop shortly after the mate collision. We will then record the initial and final velocity of the collision. The initial should be at the top of the plateau, while the final will be at the straight line just to the right of the plateau. Once we have this data recorded, we will then reset the pass cars and add one of the 250 gram masses to the blue pass card and repeat the experiment. We will then step through all of the iterations of having 0, 1, to 2 masses on both the red and the blue car until we have filled up our data table. Now we are ready to move on to procedure C, which involves inelastic collisions. To set up for this procedure, we will rotate both of the pass cars 180 degrees so now the magnet sides are facing each other. Just like in procedure B, once we have both of the pass cars set up, we will press start on the LXI and gently push the blue pass car into the red and then press stop on our data set. Again, we should see a plateau which will be our initial velocity and then a flat part to the right of the graph which will be our final velocity. Also like part B, we will then step through all of the iterations of having 0, 1, and 2 masses on both of the pass cards until we have filled up the data table. Once we have collected all the necessary data, we can use the equations given in the lab manual to complete the experiment. That is all, thank you for watching and feel free to refer to this video whenever needed.